be our guest, be our guest, put our silvers to the test. Tie your napkin around your neck, Shelby, and, and we'll provide the rest. Soup de Jean, are the dunes, why we only live, live to serve. Try the great stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me, me ask, ask the, the dishes. dishes. They, they can sing, they, they can dance, after all, Mrs. This, this is, is France. And the service here is never second best. Come, Come on, unfold your menu, take a glance, and then you'll be our guest. Be our guest, be our guest. I'm Matt Eldois. Uh, I'm, I'm Pete. I'm Jake. This and is this is another podcast. podcast. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to know why we were singing Beauty and Beast, it's no, they don't. Anyway, <laughs> today what we're uh, talking no, about shut is shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna prop up Jake because I want to. I'm what? My, my good boy, Jake. Uh, our good boy Jake, he got cast in the, the school musical, I and nobody did. outside of our school cares, and nobody in our school cares. But yeah. I care because I'm proud <laughs> of you, Jake. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. I did. I'm. I'm. I'm in it, and I got a main. Well, main. A in named quotes. speaking role. I got a named speaking role with a song. Yeah. So that's it's exciting. Yeah. Monsieur Dark. Monsieur Dark. It's wonderful. Yeah, he owns the I Insane said. Asylum. I think we Monsieur just started uh, rehearsals. So, so yeah. Yeah. Congrats, Jake. Thank you. Yeah. Pete did an audition because I don't know why. You know you would have gotten Gaston if you auditioned, right? You you know. Uh, you 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 can never know with these things, you know. If someone doesn't audition, you he can would have never... gotten Gaston. Anyway, but yeah, you got you got Link uh, last so year. I was a specimen. Yes, for... I'm in tomb. All right, <laughs> I fucking hate myself. So you, uh, you you could do it. <laughs> yeah, probably he'd probably be Gaston. Anyway, no, uh, stop talking about this. I didn't audition, so it doesn't matter. All right. Well, oh, I'm sorry. I also didn't audition. I probably would have been Gaston as well. I could, yeah. yeah. as, I, mean, I could see you as I could see you as I could see you as LeFou. <laughs> and you'd be Gaston. Thanks. Oh my god. Thanks, Jake. Oh, LeFou Gaston pair. I wanna be Belle for the record. Yeah. I wanna wear the dress. Teddy Rochelle. You could Jimmy. Oh no 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 no. no. <laughs> can actually can we just say for those who know Teddy who got cast as Belle is perfect casting and we love Teddy. I just wanna give a little shout out to her. Um, cause she's awesome. But she's nothing compared to Jake Glasser. Jake could totally pull off I, that dress. I have one third the range that she, she does. She is nothing compared nothing. to Jake Glasser. Anyway, we we're in the same one act together. Why are, we, why are we? Why are we talking about Beauty and the Beast? Because uh, it's, I because it's to good. I anyway. want to prop up Jake. But main thing, you know what we're doing here today, boys. Talking what, about what are we doing, uh, Black Panther? Sir? Exactly. <laughs> That's my favorite song from Black Panther. Uh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, the, from the soundtrack. Uh, wait, sorry, what, wait, what's Black Panther's, what's the actual guy's name again, his first name? T'Challa. T'Challa? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna su- I was gonna substitute T'Challa for Gaston and sing it, but I realized I don't think it's the same amount of syllables, so it wouldn't <laughs> Gaston, really. Gaston, T'Challa. Oh, it's T'Challa. It wouldn't really wait. work. Uh, no one. No Bites like T'Challa. <laughs> one's <laughs> king like T'Challa. No one. Where's Bling? Like Chala. 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 What are we doing? That works. We're doing a podcast. So. Idiot. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I thought we were just having a I conversation. I thought we were doing a mockumentary. Oh. This is basically a mockumentary of like a steep decline into madness, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Should we explain what, how I'm still alive since the last no, episode? Where no, I, you, don't, you don't talk about it. You're just back. You're just back. Well, but I don't know because I was bl- I blacked out and then I suddenly I wasn't dead anymore. Hell was nuts. <laughs> you like it was like whoa. I mean, I imagine. What I were mean, you tortured with? Oh, I, no, I wasn't tortured. You weren't. Mm-mm. Were you like, wh- what happened? Well, I mean, I got off the hell bus, right? Which is how you get down to hell, by the way. Obviously. Uh, and the Grim Reaper comes up, and he's he gives you you have to get your ticket punched. Right. But the whole puncher wasn't working, so like, I had to wait for like half an hour, and he was like, hold on, let me call my funny. manager. It'd be funny if they sent you to heaven because the whole puncher wasn't working. Like, <laughs> that oh, would have been funny, look, but that's not geez, what happened. I guess. So, so hell was crazy, so I didn't actually do a whole lot. I pretty much just stood. You spent your well, I, well, I stood in line for half an hour, and I realized it was actually, that was probably my punishment, was to just wait in line for yeah. all eternity to yeah. get into hell. I think uh, that was probably but then, the punishment. <laughs> but, but then, like, two days in, I got I, suddenly I woke up back in the real world. So, uh, 
So the the jury's what was the out. Bus like. What was the bus like? Yeah, the bus to hell. Were there a lot of people? Uh, it was like a Greyhound bus. You know, it was pretty pretty nice, reclinable seats. Because I guess that maybe they feel bad. They're like, well, you know, you're gonna suffer all eternity. Eternal shortly. damnation. You might as well. Your your trip have a there comfortable ride. might as well be like decent. <laughs> so you know, you get like little packs of goldfish. And, oh really? Was there like pretzels. like like TVs on display? You know how like some buses have Sponsored like Sponsored by goldfish. Well, no, it wasn't that fancy. Oh okay. I mean, it's I I brought it's my like, iPod. It's just like comfortable, right? Well, yeah, you know, I mean. If I could like rate it on Yelp, I'd give it you know like a four and point three stars out of five. I don't That's know. generous. That's generous. All right. Well, I I respect you know their their ability to be like you know we're gonna accommodate these horrible sinners. Yeah. So nice. did they? So like you you didn't get to know what you did though, to like get into it. To oh to go to hell. Yeah. Well, I already know that without having been there for very long. Like they didn't have to tell me. I already knew before I even died oh. why I would end up there why uh so today we're talking about black panther oh should we mention it's valentine's day on the day that we're recording this that has nothing to do with anything except that it's valentine's day so i guess we'll just say that and we I love, love you folks at home you. i mean we you know i suppose what i didn't even think about is that how appropriate this is because it's black history month also so that's like, true like wow great get, good job guys mr lion mentioned that to me he was like it's a good choice for black history month and i was like oh yeah that actually makes a lot of sense because I had not considered that fact, so feel free to give me crap in the comments. <laughs> I didn't either, so that's, yeah, that's fair. Um, so, anyway, Black Panther, let's get into it. So, I, f- I don't know if we want to do spoiler-free. It's been a year, but also... Let's just, let's just jump, jump right into yeah, it. Yeah, I don't... Okay. People, if you haven't it. seen it... I like it, except for, like, the ending, when the CGI is bad. Yeah, ex- exactly. Okay. <laughs> that's my that's it's, my. Let's start synopsis. with... Okay, hold on. Let's start with positives yeah, yeah, yeah. before we, because I know that all three of us are gonna <laughs> rip into like <laughs> the we, problems with like, this I movie. I feel like maybe it was off camera, but I think we briefly discussed it on yeah. like another we episode. Def- or maybe yeah, I, I feel like we have. But we have, but but we haven't really gone into the positives. Yeah. Really, so let's let's talk positives before we rip into this movie a little bit. Which <laughs> can we? Okay, can we talk awesome. about? Let's talk about all the good stuff because I just yeah. want to talk. Because there's a lot just, of good. I just want to gush about it. Okay. Michael B. Jordan. Let's just talk about Michael B. Jordan and how great he is. He is how really great. Hot he is. <laughs> he is uh, objectively He's so hot. He is <laughs> right? super hot. He is objectively. Oh my god! Even with all those attractive. weird, oh, even, that made even him with even more with hot. even with all the bumpy scars, which is not how scars work. Yeah. I don't know. But, they but, didn't really explain but, that. But it but made whatever. him more hot. He w- he was he was like it was is it great. It, it was. It was oh my god. Uh, I mean, and we love Michael B. Jordan. We watch, you know, we're big fans of Creed and everything. And Running I mean, in the desert shirtless. <laughs> anyway, back to he's just movie. he's awesome and he's great. And he he's actually a really interesting villain yeah, with exactly. like so with like a good, good motivation, um, like I a really good motivation I, that you can get. Let's start talking the villains because there are two villains in this movie. Um, there's Claw played yeah. by what's his face. Um, by uh, uh, Andy Circus. Andy, Andy Circus, yes. which is I think it's hilarious to like see him not. <laughs> as Smeagol, yeah, so yeah. but you can still kind of tell that God, he's yeah. Smeagol he even was, when he's not playing it. He was so good. He just, yeah, he does like, a good job. like the movie. lunatic who like doesn't care at all. And yeah, was, I think it's really I'm, fun. Well, he gets his arm sliced off by Ultron yeah, in the yeah. previous I, movie. Also, yeah. Sorry. Uh, quick thing, uh, we're probably not going to talk about this any further. So I want to say, I think if I remember correctly. I think uh, Claw is going to return in Black Panther Two. I feel like I'm I really don't I, I, think I, so. I, I heard I heard that uh, Killmonger was. I thought he gets shot in the head. Yeah. So like, how he does he get, how does he come back? I don't know. I feel like I, maybe I read Killmonger and I just yeah. they both start with K's and I was like, yeah. yeah. But Killmonger got stabbed like, and died. Yeah, but they're bringing him back. Because I mean, so, you that, know what? That's fine by me. And then also, and also, I love him. It, it makes sense because he's like, I mean, like there are ways around it. He he was wearing the suit. They're also in oh, they'll Wakanda, explain it away so, somehow. but that's fine. But also, just like, or he has if you're like, gonna bring him back, just don't kill him in the first one. Or maybe because he he had the petal juice, which is like gives you the oh, Black yeah. Panther power. He survived. It gave him more yeah. strength. Like, they this movie had two of the strongest villains, aside from maybe Thanos. But Thanos is different because he's like like a big bad guy. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. there's more to break down with yeah. him. Um, two best. Uh, villains in the entire MCU and mm-hmm. kills them off. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. had a really good, really solid supporting cast too that you actually like want to rally behind. Mm-hmm. And they're the only one in the supporting cast who like is a little bit annoying is the 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 ex Shield guy. Is he Shield uh, played by Martin yeah, Freeman? Yeah, yeah, but like yeah. even he still gets like his glory moment at the end when mm-hmm. he flies yeah. the plane. And you kind of yeah. get the the I I don't really fully get. I feel like 
initially when they introduced the character, they wanted him to be sort of the point of being the fish out of water and mm-hmm. allow us to see it through his eyes. And then they and then like mm-hmm. people actually thought about it and they were like, "That's dumb. We don't need that." <laughs> but then they kept in the it movie was anyway. A decent way to sort of start it off. I thought it was an he was an interesting choice because I think the only time we really saw that character before this was in Civil War, where he has like. A yeah, couple scenes where he's likes. complaining to Captain America, mm-hmm. and then yeah. that's it. Yeah. Um, but I like Martin Freeman, and he, you know, he yeah. does a good job. Yeah. Supposedly he's like a terrible person in real life. Oh, Whoa, really? really? Like a huge jerk. Oh, that's Aww, unfortunate. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Don't meet your heroes, kids. <laughs> I mean, also, you know, take that with a grain of salt. I could be completely wrong. Maybe he's a lovely guy, but also, I wanted. To, I forgot that we can't curse. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we mentioned Killmonger and how much we like. I uh, Killmonger, I especially like because yeah, his he's so believable. He's right. not just evil for the sake of being exactly. evil. Exactly, and he's got a point. Like maybe maybe the way that he's going at it isn't wrong. And like uh, uh, T'Challa ends isn't up right. You mean <laughs> isn't isn't right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the I know right and wrong. Pete supports Killmonger's plan. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. And Enslave all the white people. Uh, no. Well, but, no. It's not. It's, it's not enslavement. It's more like. Fighting back for all the years of oppression. Uh, yeah, but uh, but hey. like okay, but the 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 i the main idea of what he wants, T'Challa ends up implementing. Like right. he le- like lets the world know about Wakanda. Yeah, he right. just does it in a peaceful Ex- way, yeah, exactly, as opposed exactly. to which I thought was really cool. Yeah, and then there's obviously you know we were talking about Claw, which is just like the wild card, which is. Well, he's just super fun to watch. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like it, it, it's 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 the good balance of like the the evil guy who's just kind of like evil and crazy for the sake of being mm-hmm. evil and crazy, which is is fun. But I'm glad that they made yeah. him the secondary character because I don't think he would have been great as the the main villain. Can we just oh, yeah. can we just it, talk about how great the whole sequence at the beginning is where they're in the museum? Oh my god! Oh my god! I god. Love it. It's fantastic. God, yes. And when, and when uh, uh, Michael B. Jordan's like looking at the mask. Oh right. Oh, that was so. He takes the mask. The whole se- sequence he has where he's talking to the woman and like she starts like getting sick because they spiked her coffee with something. Mm. Uh, it's like they have this whole plan set up. Yeah. But the way like he goes about it where he's talking to her and it's like a normal conversation mm-hmm. and then it starts to transition and he's like he's like it comes actually this was stolen from, you know, like mm-hmm. this yeah, tribe yeah. Right. or whatever and he's talking about it and like right as she starts to realize that this dude might be like yeah, yeah. Uh, like a threat then like it's right when mm-hmm. the whatever was in her coffee kicks in and then like yeah. the plan goes into that action so good. and so he cool. like he handles everything super smooth. Um I mean, it's, he's just a really great, it's smooth. smooth. Anyway. Oh, remind me to send you, uh, there's footage that exists of our good man Pete here. Uh, oh, my God. I do need to show, wait, do you have that? I don't have it on me. Like, you I, need to I, get that. I'll, I'll, get, I'll find it. I think it's, I have it on my computer now because I uploaded all the iCloud stuff. It's an old video of Pete. Were you just alone in your room? When you filmed it? No. Like, I, what was the was, context there was, for it? I don't know. Someone else was over. Okay. Well, he was hanging out, and he films himself with, like, sunglasses on, I think. And he goes, the key to success is, well, actually, you know what? You do it, because it's your thing. I don't even remember. What is it? You it's the be key smooth. to success is you got to be smooth. And then you do this thing with your with your arms. <laughs> Except he says it in a very what, suave what, way. What am I? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking us, dude? <laughs> We're not going to know the if answer. You, if you know the answer, comment down below. Why is Pete? Pete has just why Pete is thinks Pete? that he became a meme after Everyday Titan. He's always been a meme. <laughs> it never like Well, you're like a TC bound meme. Anyway. And moving. hopefully one day the entire world will know of Pete versus Ahmed. Go watch it. Go watch it. It's the best stop, video. Stop. God. If, stop. If, it's the if, best if video. If any of the three of or I guess not you. If any if <laughs> Oh, thanks. You're not in the Pete versus Ahmed. I'm like an honorary member. No, but okay, but you're not. Even in though the I'm video. not in the video. Anyway. Ignore Even though I it, wrote a script it, for, actually I can't talk about that. It's a secret. Go on. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> if if either of us ever gets famous, I feel like that video is gonna come back up and haunt us. No, it's awesome. It's like, oh oh yeah, it's such yeah. a good video. On the bright side, if one of us gets famous, that video will inadvertently bring the other one up. Yeah, <laughs> just like it's, high, it's, high five. It's I, you guys should be proud because I love. <laughs> That video is so much. And, like, no one would really get it unless they were, like, in the past probably three years here at, mm-hmm. at this school. But uh, I don't care. I, lo- I, just, I love <laughs> it. I love, my favorite moment in that video is when you, like, swung the sword 
and like, you. Because because you you delayed it a bit, so I was like, is he gonna swing it? And then you swung it really fast, and I was like, Whoa. <laughs> well, like the beginning choreography is actually like, oh, they really kind of planned this out. No, nope. can, you, can you put in clips? Oh, yeah, from I mean, we, we did in, on into the day. this. We did it on the table. We didn't plan it. Out. Well, it looked like decent choreography. It didn't yeah. look like you were just like. You're welcome. You you weren't just going like hit swords. You actually looked like pseudo like you were trying to choreograph something and i i enjoyed it we definitely and well, there's there's some tried. there's some beautiful in jokes in there like the best in jokes yeah. that again no one else will understand except for maybe the last one before you get well i shouldn't spoil it <laughs> you shouldn't spoil it i mean you know like this high quality movie with the it's biggest it's really twist at the good end. go watch pete versus <laughs> ahmed bring it back everyday titan black panther black panther, <laughs> black panther. also we, really good we Always on a tangent. Anyway, um, also I haven't said anything about Killmonger because I've been very quiet for some reason. But one thing I I, I definitely highly agree that Killmonger's sort of motivation is one of my favorite. He he has the best motivation I think out yeah. of everyone. Well, it like, just it makes sense also for like the scale of his character and what he's been through. Yeah, he, and he doesn't have plans to like like dominate the universe or like to like teach people the true meaning. Like whatever. No, he's just like. Are Did people you want to say teach the people the true meaning of Christmas? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't even gonna Kill, say. Kill comes yeah. to Wakanda. <laughs> well, no, you I guys was, don't understand the true meaning of Christmas. I wasn't gonna say Christmas. I was gonna say whatever. I said whatever because I was like, it could have been anything. He's like, no. But like, he wants to get. You know, he wants to basically yeah, yeah. bring justice. Killmonger Christmas movie. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Killmon Killmon That's what he does in Black Panther too. <laughs> a Killmonger no, no, Christmas. It's one of those. One of those like straight to DVD like <laughs> specials. Yeah, a Killmonger <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, kill Wakanda for Christmas instead of like, Wakanda forever. Or something like that. And then <laughs> you have all the presents. And it's he like, like comes back. His new scheme to become king is he's going to start giving presents out and like a win. Like he's going to like, we need to have an election. And he starts giving presents out no, for Christmas. No, he's like no, making no. Wakanda there's, a Christmas country. Like, I got like you a war rhino, son. Dad. Yeah, he gets on the little there's, rhino. There's some like, like weird uh, loophole in like the Wakandan whatever <laughs> legal system the like government? legal system it's a it's, monarchy it's like right? it's like if you like get enough signatures then you become like the king <laughs> right. so he goes around like pretending well, then it to be just, a ups man like well, <laughs> here's your christmas present that sounds like something Please sign for it that sounds like something the grinch would like try to do it's like a very <laughs> like <laughs> yeah so, the yeah christmas that's plan. what we're going that's for. the point <laughs> when, you. when killmonger stole christmas yeah <laughs> back on topic um, um, but what I like, I would watch that. But yeah, movie. I think the best part about sort of Killmonger's villainous or his like motivation is that it affects the main character, right? Like mm -hmm. T'Challa, directly, like very and yeah, very directly. Because like a lot of villains in these movies, like in Marvel movies, sort of they they try to be like the opposite of the other character. Like they try to be like sync up so it's like they're fighting like a mirror of themselves kind of situation but it's always like the main I mean, character doesn't learn anything directly from the villain they don't like mm -hmm. they don't really like in, in terms of design it does sort of suffer the same marvel trope of like killmonger's suit is very similar to t'challa's and like in the final fight it's pretty yeah, much well, 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 it's well, pretty much a black panther versus a what, black what, panther uh, we'll, we'll but that. like yeah. iron iron man always has that same issue it's always yeah. a guy in an iron man suit versus a guy in an iron yeah. man suit but what i'll or say like about captain that. america is always a super soldier versus yeah. another super soldier but like, like all they ha they yeah. all have that but problem. here's the thing about what i like about this is that it's an actual like like they're not just like mirrors physically speaking like it's just the same person against the same mm -hmm. kind of person it's also like mentally there's like yeah. a sort of challenge there of like sort of the sort of mirror opposite, like black, like T'Challa is constantly like we have to be isolated, and that's how he begins mm -hmm. the movie. And Killmonger is on the opposite side. Yeah, and, and it, well, you yeah, realize T'Challa switches you, over, but you realize yeah. it's also something that's cool that, that I don't think is really they they don't really mention it outright in the movie, but it's something I was thinking about is that the, a lot of the reason that they're each so passionate about their cause is because of what their their relationship with their well, yeah, fathers and, and how they grew up. Like yeah, uh, um, Michael B. Jordan grew up in America. And T'Challa grew yeah, up in and you see you see the contrast exactly. in how their ideals would form differently based on their surroundings, and it's and it it makes sense, and you can also apply it to real life because it isn't like he's trying to obtain like the magic item mm -hmm. of the Deus, Deus Ex Machina. He's like, right. it, I mean, oppression like that is very real yeah. in the real world, so mm -hmm. it's way easier to see that as like, oh, that's a real motivation. I, I also liked the the kind of like like switch uh, like 
uh, like the contrast to like what most dynamics between like a villain and uh, a hero is because the villain usually is like kind of like the more like proper mm-hmm. and like has like more power and um, the hero is usually kind of like the coming from nothing like 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 kind of it's like more of an underdog story yeah but but he technically T'Challa starts at the top yeah, exactly. yeah that's exactly. what no that's what he's saying, I'm saying. Right. It's like switching yeah. it around well does it the movie begins with him becoming king right? yeah exactly he, no yeah that's he, he, he starts from, on top he comes from a family of royalty he's like had every thing given to him for his entire life whereas um killmonger has had to like work his way yeah to the, like the, to the top and like train and like mm-hmm. get good yeah. at what he does like in a and you different kinda... movie like killmonger would be the hero exactly, like if yeah. like just the well from his, is different. I think from his perspective well, he yeah, is. yeah like exactly. exactly and that's what makes it really but good that's also why it makes sense that like he's so passionate exactly. about i think a doing? lot of i think there are a lot of villains that could use that kind of sort of writing style sort of writing them in I mean, a way that's like like they have the right idea but they're going it's about twisted. it the wrong well, way. Well, certainly like it's twisted stuff like that's been done works. before, and it's been done really well in a lot of cases. But I think in terms of well, I'm not Marvel just talking about movies. movies a yeah, lot yeah. of Marvel, Marvel movies, movies yeah. the villain is just like evil, McEvil. evil because of their greed. Is like 99 percent of yeah, the time exactly. yeah. that's why they're um, evil. Yeah, I feel like the strongest villains are either you don't know their motivation, and they're just like super scary because you don't know anything about them and they're just like well that's evil. why like that's in the, the original joker. The, the, yeah. the joker he or like he led a joker is one of the strongest villains in, yeah. in like a, i think a, a all i think all incarnations of the joker not all of them but like there's some <laughs> yeah, really we there's fight there. sorry but there's some really strong contenders i mean mark hamill's joker and all the animated stuff is for yeah. me that's yeah. that's the gold standard for me that will never ever yeah. be beaten i i'd say I'd in say my opinion in in accuracy to the character but i think that the 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 Heath Ledger Joker. I no, it's a it's a great performance. And I, 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 I'll yeah, it's much. It's I, well, it's a different interpretation of yeah. the character. It's more of like the psycho edge as opposed to. I mean, they give him a little more of well, a backstory. Yeah, they, it's uh, like he grew up in an abusive home. Well, they don't. Whatever it is. No, they don't. Well, you hear him talk about. He talks no. about different things, but he doesn't yeah, give anything. Like the, 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 that's the, true. His 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 whole, his whole thing is that he says, "You want to know how get how I got these scars?" Right. And the first time you you hear it, it's. What, what is it? His, My father was it's, it's his, his father, father did yeah. it, but in, but then he says, says it, again, it again, and it's a different. Well, story. that's true. That, which, well, that's which, the other thing in the in the comics. He talks about how each time he tells his backstory, yeah, yeah. he remembers it differently, which is yeah. th- plays into his no, no, insanity. I, uh, but but, but r- yeah. r- 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 like I'm 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 even saying like separate from the source material, that's just a good character. Like, right. Well, like, yeah. Just completely disregarding like. If if that if that character wasn't called the Joker, wasn't wearing like the makeup or whatever, was just but acted the same exact way, yeah. and he's just he would still be he's so, just entertaining so to watch. Great. At yeah. the end of the but day, think, you want to see more of him. That's one way to do mm-hmm. a great villain, and on the other side is to make the villain kind of a distorted hero. Right. Yeah, I think which is what Killmonger yeah, is exactly, and that's sort of it's specific. And I think it's that's that's definitely. Well, I think that's I probably no, why I'm cut that off there. I'm I think that's say, probably why this movie works so well is yeah. because you have Killmonger, who's your distorted hero, and then you also have Claw, who's Joker esque. Exactly, that's what so I'm saying. So you have like say, the yeah. best of both worlds. Claw's not really Joker esque though, because well, well, he, he does he, have he a plays, motivation. Ultimately, it's money. Yeah, but that's true. But, but he plays he's, he's, it crazy, so yeah. he's entertaining, and, he's, he's and, he, and he also doesn't stick around say, the whole he's time. Def- he's not the focus. But that's villain. the thing is that that's why I think they decided. I again, I think that Claw, in a lot of ways, probably came in as like their first initial idea, because mm-hmm. I feel like going through drafts of the script, I feel like that might have been their initial idea for a main villain, because Claw is the main, one of the main villains for Black Panther. Well, I don't know. But I, mean, I think that already they, saw, been they realized, yeah, but no, movies. but I'm saying, like, the way that, like, they wrote him, they realized he's, like, trying to be the Joker, but he's not got the same chaos. He's not the, a force of chaos. Well, no, it's, it's just, not the same character or anything. Yeah, it's no, just, that's In terms of the why he captivates They didn't get him right. Yeah. So, like, because he's a side character, he's more compelling because you realize, okay, yeah, he's... Not like a force of nature, but he's still fun, and if he was the main yeah. villain, you just it just wouldn't work. Yeah, I think exactly. it's I think I, it's like a less is more situation. Like he's good as a exactly. side character, but if mm-hmm. he, he was just being crazy the whole movie, you'd be like, all right, we get it, yeah. let's move on. Exactly. Yeah, I, I have uh, two things. I feel like it's really likely that Marvel wanted Claw to be the bad guy, and then the director, who's the director? I forget his name. I always forget his name. I uh, hate it. I love it. But him. anyway, uh, he, it's the same he guy. Came in and he was it's like, the same guy who's apparently doing Space Jam Two if it ever comes out. That's great. And I'm he praying. is my new favorite director, but I don't know He's his name. Great. I hate him. Um, I hate him. And I, I also want to say, not him. I, I I think. I don't think he's just motivated by greed. I feel like that's 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 what like I mean like what he like 
he, he like wants that, but ultimately he gets kind of like joy out of just the chaos of situations. But I also do agree that he wasn't he's not like as strong or as mysterious as the Joker. That's why he wouldn't hold the movie up mm. if it was just him as the bad guy, which is right. why they put him as a side character. Anyway, I think let's move on to side characters because we were kind of going on a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, the side characters in this movie are all great, all of them. Yeah. And it's another one of those things you have like Black Panther's friend who is, uh, he rides on the rhino, and I don't remember the character's name, and I feel bad. Uh, yeah. he, he ends up siding with Killmonger, yeah. but he you can see, you know, why he would want to do that. And it's, at first, you know, he's friends with T'Challa. I mean, I think they, I don't know if they've, like, grown up together or anything like that. Yeah, uh, I want to say it's they've known each other since childhood or something like that, and they're, or maybe they're related. It sounds but, like yeah, they, like, were like, just friends for life. But, it, yeah, it comes down to, like, you know, they're united under the same overall uh, banner of like their kingdom mm -hmm. uh, and their friends. But then when it comes down to their personal ideals, they start to go in different directions. And neither one is necessarily the villain. They're just like, it's, it, cause it, I mean, even Killmonger is like, at the end of the movie, when he gets killed off, he's just, he's, she's just like, well, I'm gonna die. So I might as well just kind of, He's mm. like, I want to see the sunset, right? Instead of being like, curse you, Black Panther, and this whole mm. thing, he's just like, well, I tried. And I, I, he's like, I just want to see the sunset. My dad said it was like, so beautiful. And then T'Challa brings him up there because he's still, there's still like this mutual respect. Mm -hmm. It's not like, oh, I hate you and we're rivals. It's just like, I, there is this sympathy there. Like, I get what you were trying to do. So I'll sort of give you, grant your last yeah. request to help you see Because that's kind of T'Challa's character arc. Right, because mm -hmm. he well, realizes, also, like you know, that Killmonger is right. Yeah. Well, T'Challa to gets, a level. T'Challa too. He gets knocked off of his throne. L technically, literally, he gets mm -hmm. knocked off in the fight. And it's it's you know, you have to see him sort of build his way back up, and he has to make an alliance with the people who threatened his throne at the beginning. Like you see him, you know, learning more of what it means to be king, uh, because it's w and granted that story has been done before. That's we're not going off. Of that's, that, that's somewhat appropriate. I mean, it's it's granted it's a completely different story, but in general, the story arc of having your your main hero be royalty and starting off a little more young and naive, and then as the story progresses, he sort of he gets the royalty taken from him, and he has he has to earn it back, and it's only when he earns it back that he he becomes like a proper ruler, right? But Let's go back to side characters, because I wanted to come back to T'Challa later. Okay, got it. So, Shuri, I love her. <laughs> she is so great. She's great. She's great. She's also, I wasn't expecting her to be a, a big focus of the comic relief. I mean, aside from mm -hmm. uh, w some some of the other side characters, obviously. But, like, whenever she's on screen, she's just, like, it's just, like. They have a real brother-sister relationship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. It, it, it definitely feels real. Like, like, it's the kind of thing where you're, like, that is I love in, me I love the scene place, in Infinity place. War where they're talking to her about uh, removing Vision's mm -hmm. gem yeah. and she's just like why didn't you just try doing it this way and then Bruce Banner's like because we hadn't thought of that <laughs> and it's like she's like she's like this like sort of teenage like young yeah. adult girl who just like is just smarter yeah. than like all of the adult scientists there and they're just like Oh, uh, all right then. <laughs> to be fair, Shuri actually designs tech, and Bruce Banner is an expert in he's, radiation. Well, he's more of like a biomechanics yeah. guy, right? Like yeah. he's 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 all he built like gamma bombs. He wasn't you know making. Did he build AI. bombs? I thought he, he well, has a re he well, gets you a know, like radiation stuff. Yeah. Well, that's how he becomes. Yeah, the whole like a gamma bomb. That was what it is. And one time he was Lou Ferrigno, and then he wasn't. Hmm. We'll not talk about that. Has anyone seen the original Lou Ferrigno Hulk TV show? No more tangents. No more <laughs> tangents. No more tangents. Yeah, we we are. Ugh. Spending When's the last time you washed your hand? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's just let's just keep going. I guess. Does anyone have Purell? Uh, that room. Anyway, um, let's get right into whatever we're gonna talk about. I don't remember. Side care. Let's about. still talking about side care. Lou Ferrigno Hulk. I think that's what the 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 podcast was about today. I kind of blanked, but. All right, I we get you. Okay, Hulk, you don't right? need to patronize me. I get it. No, no, no I, I wasn't. I was just <laughs> trying to annoy Ahmed. Oh, yeah. great. All right, can I can I, <laughs> yeah, can so I, can keep, I jump on board? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Uh, Lou Ferrigno is he's he was interesting. He uh, 
I don't really know that much about him, honestly. It was, it was, that was back when you know, Hulk sometimes was. Sometimes I'm just um, trying to do this podcast. You know, uh, and I just want to do a nice two different actors. Like just want to be an actor for yeah. Bruce. I want to have a good time and, uh, talking yeah. with my friends. And I Doc want to be Bruce Banner, belted by gamma rays, turns into the Hulk. Like listen to me and like. You know, just like I didn't know that. Just my keep dad it grew up with that whatever, show. But instead, nice. they just keep going on. They keep annoying me. They keep trying to. Uh, it's like, anyway, yeah, Black I'm just Panther. To do my thing. Uh, you know, let's I'm talk about really fun. Okay, how. Back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are we back now? <laughs> let's talk uh, about what no, other. We're talking about Shuri. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I. Th- I think we said what we need to say about Shuri. Really? Yeah. She oh, just has some great fantastic. moments. She's yeah. really good. She's yeah. just like. And I can't wait um, to see more of her character. Basically, is like my main thing. Oh, I also loved what's his face. Ah, the. Uh, 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 like the, the, with the snow. Oh, oh, the other the tr- the one of the, the tribe leader guy <laughs> yeah, who yeah. challenges so, T'Challa so at good. the beginning of the movie. Uh, yes, he's really funny. Yeah, I love the part where they come up with Martin Freeman's character, and he's just like, oh. Also, they call white people in this movie colonizers, which is fantastic, <laughs> by the My way. It's a, I, I love it. Yeah. Uh, and so they bring him in just because he's along with them, uh, and he's just like, we don't we don't have your kind here or something like that. And he's like, he thre- he basically threatens to eat him or like feed him <laughs> to his children. And then Martin Freeman's character is just like, oh. And then he just like, it's really awkward and like still for a second. And then he breaks the silence and he starts laughing and he's like, I'm just kidding, we're vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite. Like it's, uh, that's another great moment. I love the uh, fa- the idea that like how are they vegetarian by the way they live on a mountain that snows like well, I all, mean like has maybe, like a ton of snow I don't like, know if he says vegetarian but he it's like he says vegetarian something. he like he definitely said vegetarian and I'm seeing they're going well like, I don't know how? maybe maybe they eat trees they import it well I don't I thought the, <laughs> I, their point <laughs> is that they're isolationists know, from was, the other tribes they can't. I was I was I was kidding <laughs> okay maybe they eat snow I know but I'm Ahmed. gonna criticize your point anyway because don't I'm eat the yellow snow. Um, but what, what was his name? I'm super blanking on. It. I feel I bad because a lot of the names are like. I'm really. I don't bad know. I just names. can't remember them. Well, there, I mean, obviously, like Killmonger, you're gonna remember because it's like the, a big, like villainous sounding name. Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm bad with the names. But like, but like, I don't remember Killmonger's actual given name, like his birth name in the movie. It's just Eric Killmonger. Yeah. Wait, is his last name actually Killmonger? I think is that he right? He might have changed it. He, I, he probably it. changed his name to Killmonger. Anyway, um, I want to circle back to Michael B. Jordan at some point. By the way, I, I think we because uh, I love I, I love talking we have about time that. To talk about, I, I think talk about casino scene. Ooh, talk yes, about bad yes. stuff and then wrap it up. Casino yeah. scene. Casino well, actually, let's so let's talk about so bad good. stuff and then let's end on a positive note. How about that? Oh, that's much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's just get, yeah. So let's get bad into stuff. the bad stuff, which is not much. Mostly. The CGI, I think. Yeah, the whole third act was the whole, like, yeah. really fell flat because it was just a, a yeah. CGI mess. Well, what I was confused about was like the beginning of the movie has scenes where there's CGI in broad daylight, which is harder to animate, mm-hmm. but it looks like pretty good. And then the fight at the end where they're in they're in the tunnel system, which is it's darker, so it's in theory easier to animate. I mean, granted, they're wearing dark suits against a dark background, but in theory, it's easier to animate against. A dark background because there's less light sources, but the animation looked worse there. And like, even so. even if the CGI looked perfect, it's boring. Yeah, it's just boring. The set piece is a giant cavern with the rail. You, you That's know, it. You know what have been? You know what would have been super cool if both of them get stripped of their suits and they just do another hand to hand right that well i think i think so it's cuz cool. we already got that and like yeah but but that's not the fans probably wanted a cool fight where they're both in the suit but the fans didn't but Based nobody on the reaction nobody wanted well, to see well i think that. if it had been done i would have like here's the thing i would have liked to see them in the suits fighting but i would have been like civil war that's what i cuz in my head when i was thinking about watching the fight scenes in this movie before i had seen the movie I was thinking about Civil War because the way he fights in Civil War are very cat-like and it's awesome and it's cool. cool. And I was sitting there thinking that, and I remember the name of the director, Ryan Coogler. That's it. Well, yeah. that's also Ryan that's Coogler. another thing. The choreography he's, is like very like a really good at choreography. So he good does at Creed. It. He did he did yeah. Creed Creed two. He he's good it's at choreography. So good. Um, and I don't know why he it just looked didn't do it for the bad. well. It's because well, it's the last fight is since it's animated. I think a but lot like, of it's I don't not natural movement, so it no, looks exactly I feel unnatural. Like, it looks like it's puppeteered. but I don't see why he did. Like he like he's a good director and he exactly. knows how to animate. A fight Honestly, scene, it probably it animate, probably just came down to like budgeting or they were rushing to get it. Out. I mean, it, I they, they could have gone back and fixed it. To do, like CGI, wouldn't it? 
be uh, it, it, yeah. it might have been just they were crunched for time or like they maybe That's, they weren't happy I, with what they shot I and they didn't want to do a though. reshoot. Re- regardless, regardless, it's bad. What yeah. the end product That's, is bad. Yeah. The end okay, product okay, is bad. If, like, I don't think it's atrocious though. Like it's it, it's it's not atrocious, but it just compared to the compared rest. to the rest of the movie, it really brings it down, especially because it's the end. It yeah. really ends on a low note. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which and well, there's a really cool it brings setup it back up. The, and and the, the whole yeah. the whole setup for that fight sequence is cool too, because it's like, oh, it's one on one. Meanwhile, there's all that war happening up on the. But surface. I didn't even like that. I didn't like the war because the the scenes with the rhinos attacking that it all just. I was like, I really don't care about this. Like, well, it, it's, see, I I thought that was kind of cool, and I thought I the choreography. Like that. I thought the I, choreography with like you know the holographic shields and everything. I, was to what I was here's what I liked. I liked and that that the, was separate from the main battle. The idea that they kept like they had this big battle, and that's cool. I like big battles. I think big battles can be fun on screen, and I thought that it was fine. I thought it was cool, and like Shuri and what's her name? Uh, Are you talking about the oh, the, the, the female the, the warrior yeah. with the spear? Yeah. And I she she's a cool starts character with as well. an end yeah. N, and I'm I love the whole scene where because it, it really it really stands out how they're like they're a warrior race right they're right. or they're very yeah. at least the military yeah. part is um, and like is de- they're devoted to that so the whole thing where she's in love with the male character and then they're fighting uh, and he's like would you kill me my love and she's like for Wakanda like I, I would do anything like she's she's not going to hesitate she's straight up will kill the love of her life for her home. Yeah. And then that's when he realizes he's like, I, I'm out of luck. And that's when they call off the attack. I thought that was a good way yeah. to resolve the and, battle. Um, and, but and they kept like that main that site. Fu- uh, they kept that battle like separate from like the fight between those two. And if they did the fight right, they would have been fine. Mm-hmm. I disagree, though, because I think that it was really jarring to jump back and forth between those things. It, it was like, yeah. And it, it, it felt like you uh, I don't know. It, it was really like you didn't have time to focus on either thing because it would just jump back and forth between them, you know. Mm. And it, I, I feel like I would have liked it a lot more if it was here's the battle thing, then there's the final fight. And I just it just looked it just was just black, you know. That's like yeah. the biggest thing to get from that. Yeah. I mean, I think that another one of the issues with that fight scene too is like when they're fighting down there. A lot of the times, there's just like panning segments where they're fighting, and there's not really. Any like you know a lot of I think Marvel is really strong with their fight scenes because they intersperse a lot of like clever dialogue in there too like that's why I loved a lot of the fight scenes in Ragnarok Thor Ragnarok because there's like great choreography and then there's little snippets where like there's clever things that are said or like they ma- they manage to keep things flowing without like completely halting the whole uh, scene just to like add some goofy joke in there. Meanwhile, in this final fight in Black Panther. I mean, granted, the stakes are really high, so they're not going to be, like, throwing out, you know, little quirky jabs or anything. But, like, even in those segments where, like, the train goes between them and they can't physically attack one another, but they can still see each other, there's large swaths of silence where, like, they're not saying anything. They're just, like, looking at each other angrily, yeah. and it's, no, like... I, I, uh, I get what you mean. I also feel like... The pacing sort of slows I in also between. feel like Marvel fights, the ones that are really good, are super close quarters. And, like, it's, mm. like, tight, tight shots... And you, you like like in, in Civil I, I War. Think, I think Civil War. No, even even yeah. earlier in the movie. The, yeah, and the whole oh, yeah. fight the when casino, they're on the cas- cliff with the water and the casino the scene. The casino scene that yeah. was so well choreographed, and it shows that he knows how yeah. to do. Like, well, that yeah. was the thing I was saying is like Chore- in that final fight, there's a lot of these overhead and like side panning shots that are like are rotating yeah. around, and they're in the center of the shot, and it's just it's weird. It stands out. Yeah. Um, and it's also like. There are points where like you can't really see them because since they're wearing dark suits against a dark background, you see the glowy lights. Yeah. Which but I think that's is the point. But like that's but it. And also, Black Panther has like dark purple glowy lights, so he blends in even more than Killmonger mm-hmm. does. Yeah. Like it, there's just a lot of weird choices that were. I want to believe that this was like some studio oversight going on. Like they were like, you have to have a big yeah. epic final fight. You can't just have it be. Yeah. This. It's because like Ryan Coogler doesn't have the same sort of because like yeah. if you're like he doesn't have like the clout to sort of fight back against Marvel Studios in that sort of sense so that he was he had to like yeah. cave and mm-hmm. like I want to believe that I don't know that yeah. obviously I have no information. To I go mean on. I I, w- I think that's but relatively I, like, realistic. I want to say that like previous yeah. sort of scenes show that he knows how to do a exactly, fight scene. 100%. So like I don't think that 
it was his specific choice at least. Yeah, I, yeah. I can t- come on. And choreographing that. that stuff is difficult. Like it's it, it's a lot to go in there. So it's not that's not to say that it's like oh man he really sucked you know at the end there. Like yeah. we have to give him credit for everything else. And I also don't think he was like wholly responsible for yeah, that. Right. I, um, um, but at the same time, then when you're given like such good quality all the way through, and then the ending just sort of drops the ball like that, it's mm. even more disappointing because. Yeah now you have the whole rest of the movie to compare that one crappy part to. Yeah. So it seems extra crappy. Exactly. Also brings us to a point that I want to make, which is part of the reason why we chose this movie. So it got nominated mm-hmm. for an Oscar for Best Movie. And I think it's a really good movie. I don't think it's best the best movie. It does not deserve Best it's Picture at all. I don't. I think superhero movies in, ge- in general, like, granted with the current format that they tend to adhere to, it's just not realistic for any of them there's to like, win. There are only a but few not even that. Like, there's also Infinity War came out that yeah. same year, and it's it's a better movie. It's a better movie, and I love Black Panther again. But I, see, I liked Infinity War, but that my issue with Infinity War was like, yes, you have all these different characters, but it jumps around so much. It's hard to get invested in one storyline when there's like seventy happening all I at feel once. Like it does a but really good job. I kind of disagree because yeah. I think. Well, the thing about Infinity War, and I admit, I think that's pro- the, probably the main reason why it didn't get nominated at all, which, besides the fact that the Academy Awards is a complete and utter waste of time and stupid, well, and it's, all it's the also judges are kind of, of It's dumb. kind of rigged as well. Yeah, and it's like, just... It's completely rigged like, in the way they do things. They're just doing it to like because these movies are popular yeah. and because they make money. But like, I think the main reason is cause, because of all the setup. You like, If you don't know the characters already... It is kind yeah. of difficult yeah. to follow. That's it's true. Hard to follow. It, well, because it's an expanded universe. You but can't just jump in randomly and expect to know what's happening. Yeah. But like even even like some older superhero movies, like The Dark Knight. That if, if that won best best picture, that would one hundred. It would have one hundred percent deserved oh, that. Yeah, I don't know what won that. best picture. Maybe it was a better movie. Well, see, here's the thing about Dark Knight. I love that movie, but objectively, and I, uh, I'm gonna get hate. Objectively, I don't think it's like a good quality movie i think it's I th- you're 100 percent wrong I think you're a bad person you're wrong finish. you're super finish. stupid okay, and wrong and bad you're bad go back to hell <laughs> i like the movie i enjoy all the casting decisions in there i think the central like theme is interesting and ties through to the end but there are some choices in there that i'm just like it doesn't make sense there's these weird leaps of logic and also like i know it's the aesthetic But everything is so dreary. The second half of that film is dark and dreary, and I don't want to look at it. It's Batman, you idiot. I know, but there are so many other incarnations of Batman that have managed to make it look really good without not being able to see anything. What what, what did you want it to be, Adam West? No, no, not Adam I, I, West. I, 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 I get what you're saying, but you're super wrong and you're bad, and that's a wrong opinion. I you, like the movie. A, a I enjoy the movie. I think objectively Back it suffers man, from right? some issues. He's wrong. I, wrong. I didn't say it was. I, I didn't say I did dislike the movie. I, know, I really I enjoy it. I, I know, but 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 you, but your opinion is wrong. <laughs> Here's what I'll say. I think that it is a really good movie. I think it definitely counts as an amazing movie. I definitely think that it could have won Best Picture. I'm not. Really? But it's also been a long time since I've seen that movie, I so I can't. It's, it's it's okay. There's also some of the dialogue. Like I know Batman is trying to be intimidating while he's Batman. Some of the dialogue while he's in costume is like he's trying a little too hard. Like what? To to well, because you know, I mean, I he mean, already has, he already I, I has to do the voice, mean. and like that's fine. People have talked about that, and like I, I I think the voice is a little unnecessary, but honestly, that's fine. But the fact that it's like that combined with certain di- like the whole dialogue where like at the end with Rachel Ghoul or is it Raza Ghoul? Some wrong peop- movie. Some, some That's people not wrong the movie, movie that we're talking about. Well, no, no, no. I'm talking about it, when it, I'm just giving an example of when. But like that's not that's not the that's movie, not the movie no, we're no, talking I know it's about. It's a different movie. I'm just talking but about. But that, that's irrelevant to the conversation. You can't uh, you can't really sorry. point to like another movie for an example. All right, dialogue. all right, fine, fine. Sorry. I'm just no. That's all, don't like go. Sorry, it's part, of, it's part of the same series of but, movies. Okay, yeah, but it's not the same movie. Wasn't it directed no, by the same guy? Yeah, but that's Christopher Nolan. But I, okay, but you can't say, oh well, like, I. That's just we're 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 talking about. No, I know it's a different project. All right, that's you know what that's it's fair. It's like a different project. It's it's just it's not fair to pull from another movie's like if uh, like 
I, I, I get that maybe like that movie had like bad dialogue, but you can't take that movie's bad dialogue and then bring it into this movie and say like, okay, this movie I'm is sure bad because of that. Example. I'm sure there are other examples of like a, a sequel, like a, a, a first movie being terrible and a sequel being great. Not saying that Batman Begins is terrible, but it's definitely a much worse movie than The Dark Knight. Yeah. No, I will. I would agree with that. But yeah. Back to Black Panther. And again, I like The Dark Knight. Back, back, I like back, it. Back, back. Back, there are certain black, things black Panther, that it's like, on a I like the again. scene where, where they blow, Joker blows up the hospital. Beautiful, masterful. The whole part where he's this fiddling with the tangent. remote, We're right? Still going on a tangent. We need and then to he has to, he gets in the school Jake, bus. Jake, I love it. Jake, it's perfect. Jake, it's beautiful. Jake, 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 uh, there's, you know, Jake, Jake, right. Jake, Jake, yeah, Jake, 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 Stop. Jake, Jake, Stop. Jake, 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 Stop. Jake, you done? You done? You done, buddy? Stop. You done? You ready to get back to I will be done if you stop talking for two seconds. Okay, Jake, Jake, Jake. Sorry, okay. That was one and a half seconds, I wanna, you idiot. I want to formally apologize for yelling at you. I respect your opinion. No, nah, no, nah, it's too late. It's disingenuous. I'm going to cut no, that out. No, it's not disingenuous. Uh, <laughs> I, I can tell the tone of your voice. Uh, anyway, so uh, can't wait for Black uh, Panther. What? Can't wait for Black Panther 2. That was not disingenuous. Black Panther 2 coming out uh, hopefully within the next year or so. I don't know. I mean, I guess Probably we'll see. Probably not the next year. Well, I want it now, so you're wrong. Uh, see, I'm taking over the podcast now, boys. Jake's asserting himself because he's tired of being bullied. I never bully you. No, no, no. You're just an asshole. But I love you anyway, so it's fine. I can handle you. you know, I would like worst. to point out that you both consistently bully me. At a, That's true. When like, do I bully you? All the time. <laughs> do not. You do? <laughs> hold on. Hold on a moment, Jake. All right. I'll admit that sometimes I can be a little bit annoying to, for, like, to, oh, for yeah, the purpose of. Bit. Shut up. Like, I will. Like, I, do like, I, I will. I, I, what? Like that? Is that an example of bullying? Or is that me just providing evidence that's occurring at the given moment? Sorry. I'm the bully, except I'm the one getting physically assaulted right now in the face. I'll do a Pete on you, you all right? You gross hands? Seriously, your hands are a little gross. Don't don't make you can me cut pull that a out. I'm just don't, saying. Don't make me pull a Pete on you. Pull a Pete. Pull a Pete. What by a, <laughs> act, like seriously giving me brain damage with a microphone? <laughs> exactly. It was not that hard. It hurt. It, it don't made think a it sound. Gave, I don't think it gave me brain damage, but it hurt. Or the time when you dragged me by the neck, like actually dragged me with and the cord, and then sent him to hell. And then I went to hell. At least I somehow I came back. Did you resurrect me, or was that someone else's doing? Honestly, I tossed you like in a ditch. Okay, so it probably wasn't you. Yeah, I don't know what happened. You just sort of showed up on my doorstep, and then I was like, "Okay." Well, when I woke up, I was very cold. I had been it had been raining. I needed somewhere to go, and I was like, "Oh, it's Ahmed's house." Well, I mean, you know. Well, I knew I could still trust you because you weren't the one who murdered me horribly. Admittedly, at the time you didn't know that I had tossed you into the ditch. So. Well, I assumed it was him. Yeah. Who had dumped me? I mean, it would make That's sense. That's a fair assumption. How come you didn't fill the dirt in into the ditch? Like, what if someone had just been walking by and seen me? Like, you didn't cover it up with anything. I mean, I'm grateful because I was able to climb out, but like, you would think anyone else would, I did, you I know, didn't, put dirt I in didn't, the ditch. I didn't have a shovel. Use your hands. You can't, okay, you, use my you hands. Can't, that's you can't that's dirty. Give, you can't even give my corpse the time of day to give me a proper burial. Look, Jake, I had to work quickly. I'm a Pete very... was going to get arrested if I didn't hide the body. He's not going to get arrested. He can just seduce his way out of any prison. Like That's, that's not real. You do not understand how prisons work. Well, are you, you, are you kidding me? Look at Mr. Gap commercial over here. He could get in anywhere or get out of anywhere. He could just like wink at people and they, they, would, they would do something that I can't say on the podcast. And then he would go free. I'm pretty sure that's not how... Pete's situation would go down in prison. He's a very pretty boy, but that's why it would be an issue. I don't know. I feel like... But anyway, I had to save Pete from prison because I need him for the podcast. Another problem I had with Black Panther <laughs> was that... Um, the suit. What about? Which suit? It's too powerful. Like, he's like bulletproof, invincible. Like, the only reason... Yeah. Like he has trouble at the end is because it has those like dampener the, things that on the train on the train yeah and like that that that, that became a problem in Infinity War too when like he was like invulnerable like he he gets piled on by those people but like he's able to just shake them off he just shake he shakes them off because they don't do anything to him yeah 
It, there's no, I mean, it, it takes away a lot of the stakes. You know what I mean? That's true. I definitely agree. With I mean, you, yeah. maybe that's why they tried to balance it because with both of them in the suits, they have the same abilities. So in theory, it's like, oh, it's cool because they both have all this power, but then the playing field's leveled. But honestly, the fight where there it's just man to man was way more interesting, and also yeah. the stakes were higher because you know Killmonger kills the elder guy who's like I think his uncle or whatever, and then he wants to avenge him, but he loses anyway and he gets kicked off. Mm -hmm. literally and falls and you think he's dead except obviously he's not dead because he's the main character and mm -hmm. yeah i i just i'm very disappointed and again i do i want to believe that that's mostly studio interference because i don't yeah i think mm -hmm. that again, overall Ryan though knows ov enough. overall though would you say it's like a like a good movie oh a great movie oh yeah it's I, still, I, I really enjoy it story-wise yeah. it's still fantastic even if yeah. like the like last fight isn't very good it's like it like immediately like afterwards it's like um, to me immediately afterwards it gets brought up with like his death scene like yeah. that like fucking hits you in the heart and also i cursed but yeah. whatever um that like hits you in the yeah. heart like really hard and like it made me yeah. like want to cry and like i yeah, think it was it a little cry. sad yeah. Uh, anyway, so that's why. And again, I wanted to mention real quick because I feel like we should we oh, need to wrap this up. Are we really going to close with the talking about the casino scene? Because I, I mean, the, I the, think main, we can, the main points of the casino scene is just the choreography, yeah. really yeah. well choreographed, the staging, and is just cool. you know, even the colors are really yeah. cool. Oh, definitely, and the whole yeah. thing with like the coins go flying and everything. Yeah, cool. oh, yeah. it's just really well really shot, cool. choreographed, acted. But I, I wanted to make a point about sort of T'Challa because we didn't really talk specifically about T'Challa. We kind of mentioned him in the Killmo when we were talking about Killmonger. I want to make a point about T'Challa's like character arc, and I think that it's probably one of my favorite actual character arcs in the MCU. I would agree. He, like he does a complete like flip one eighty, and I think well, the scene. Well, yeah, because like he starts like a complete isolationist, and then he switches over, and he's like, "We need to open up like our borders and everything." That's. So well, like, I don't know if it's a complete 180 because he's already been outside of the, of Wakanda before and he's seen the outside world, so he kind of has a general idea. But it's not. But the no, same. I understand what you're trying to say. And he does have he his mindset changes a lot, and it's in thanks to Killmonger. Yeah. For sort of like having and him acknowledge the that. scene where he confronts his father and like the rest of the spirits oh, in the spirit in, realm. In the spirit realm that is was just cool. fantastic. Like I just it's one of my favorite things in the world, like him just sort of like yelling at them, telling them that they're wrong and that what they should be ashamed of themselves. And it's, it's amazing. And it sh like shows like the care, like it's sort of a very good, I just, I really like that sort of character arc. And I like the fact that it like was the villain that gave him that. And mm -hmm. it's not like a situation. Cause like a lot of like stories will have like the hero if the hero changes it's because they realize they realize that they were doing something wrong and it's not based off of the villain necessarily it's just sort of themselves and they realize what needs to change within themselves but with black panther he sort of realizes that killmonger isn't wrong in his arguments he's just wrong in his execution and like he goes out and he's like he's trying to extend the hand to killmonger trying to say we can do this better right and i think that that's just I think that's just really good. It I is. I, I agree with that. Yeah. I think his character arc just like is good. Really good perfect. character arcs, good story, interesting characters, characters you actually want to see more of. Yeah. Instead of just being like, oh, okay, like yeah. fine. Every character is somebody that you would be interested in seeing in the sequel, right? Like you never. Yeah, of course. I don't think I've ever seen. I don't. Besides, maybe Martin Freeman's character, but even he was not like bad or that's anything. True. Like he didn't and like. I, and his like little him. subplot about being like an ex-pilot is it's. I thought it was fine because, you know, it doesn't take up like a huge segment of the story. And he ends up helping save the day at the end because he prevents the weapons from going outside the border. Also, fun fact, uh, Trevor Noah was the uh, the plane in that scene where Myron Freeman is flying the plane. Trevor Noah was the plane? He was. Oh, yeah, he, he played yeah. the voice of the plane. Yeah, you know. I did not know that. The voice of the uh, AI. I, I knew that. That's but interesting. But then I forgot and then you reminded me. Yeah, just fun fact because I like Trevor Noah a lot. Because he's really cool. That is that is interesting. Anyway, um, I think it's a good place the, to yeah, wrap I think up it's the good. podcast. So yeah, so good movie. Sh didn't deserve to win anything for VFX. It won something for VFX. <laughs> oh, ew, gross. Wait, did it really win for VFX? Something. That's I don't terrible. remember which mm. award show, but it like had a whole bunch of things nominated. And I was like, that. Uh, why is that nominated? Well, I mean, and then it won, and then I was like, no, what? Yeah, that, that's you didn't strange. watch the same movie. 
Like, well, even people who really, really like the movie have to admit that that CGI was quality bad. Quality over quantity. <laughs> like, right. yeah. had, just because they had the most CGI does not mean it was yeah. the best. Like, the, let's admit, the landscaping, like, the landscapes. Oh, yeah, there was plenty that of actually great CGI nice. in that, but it, it's just it's that last by the end. ruins, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's just Well, not I think Infinity it. War did a really good job sort of fixing up the CGI. Mm-hmm. And, and, I mean, they knew they had to, considering their the main villain it, yeah. was, like, com- almost completely... Yeah. But also, Infinity War probably, like... There are definitely parts where it's oh well the best yeah CGI. but I mean and also Infinity but Infinity War had like a much bigger budget oh yeah like to like do CGI that's okay. well a you know it was dollars. just the scale so of the like whole project. Yeah. Yeah. so yeah. it's bigger. not fair comparison you're yeah. telling like thirty five stories at once <laughs> this is not easy to do yeah. but yeah so Black Panther I think we d- yeah. so we I know that it it sounded it, it sounded like towards the end we were kind of dogpiling and then we hated the movie but to be clear we do really love this movie we're we just, only this passionate yeah. because we care. Yeah, actually, exactly. Well, that's, because, well, that's redundant. We were only we were only that direct, that blunt about it because we care. We're yeah. and we we. It, it was only because the first two thirds of the movie were so great. Yeah. That we wanted to harp so much on the last third. Yeah, yeah. and we like it, and it's good. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. Yeah. Although we just spoiled it, so if you haven't seen it, let's it's watch still it. Watch worth it seeing. anyway. Watch like, it anyway. Yeah. The story oh, is still worth right. seeing, like regardless of whether so. or not it's spoiled or not. There's not really any big twists or turns or anything like that. So, uh, do you want to kind of close it out? Well, actually, how how do you want to close this out? Should we kill me again? Because I think that was a very popular choice last time. Popular among who? Just us? <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, I, I, I imagine it. I imagine the viewers yeah, yeah, enjoyed yeah. that. I I definitely was having a good time. Well, I really because I thought you were upset you because you had to hire new hosts. I mean, you. I mean, you I was end indifferent. Up I was indifferent. I was like, okay, I'd have to get new hosts, but like, it's not like I'm like, you know, I I I have other people who I could have, you know. Well, that's true, but it's like, I mean, how do you how are you gonna repl- you could probably replace me, but how do you replace the Pete Peterson? Well, that's why I hit your body. And it, speaking of which, where did he? <laughs> no, <laughs> not this time. <laughs> When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I'm the guy hitting you with no! the microphone. No, no, I had to hire another Pete. I can't get another Pete. I can get another you, but not Pete. You hear that? You hear that, folks? I just killed your teenage dream on camera. I did it. What are you going to do? Damn, that sucks. Well, I mean, I wouldn't worry too much. He's probably going to heaven. He's not going to heaven. He killed you. Well, yeah, but like no hard feelings, you know. That's not how it works. Hey, I don't. I try not to hold grudges, all right? No, but like that's not how heaven works. I've taken care of my unfinished business. He is very dead right now, and he's never coming back. And I'm very satisfied uh, with that. Hey, Pete, you uh, <laughs> you uh, you fell asleep. You were you're very tired, and you felt you you fell asleep because you were tired. So, uh, how was your nap? How was it? How was your nap? Ahmed, I was not here for your nap. Ahmed. Oh, okay, now okay. he's dead. Movies and stuff. Eating them up. Just three dudes. Something. We'll podcast. Please. Please listen to it. It's this podcast. Uh, another podcast. Damn it. I th- I, maybe he's just sleeping again. Jake. Which is fine. I'm not going to hide his body, though. I can't do that. I'm just going to let you get arrested. Sorry. But th- th- they can't tie it back to me just because this is on film. <laughs>